I'm just going to show you guys the full power of the Jeff Jay. So, I mean, we just created fire just right there. What's up team? We are back. I was watching YouTube and I love this dude. His, his YouTube channel is called King of Random. It's Grant Thompson. And there was this thing where he had created this like 2000 degree like death ray. And I was like, that's pretty awesome. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be recreating this experiment and seeing what other things that we can, you know, melt. These old, not, not the flat screen, but the big screen TVs, have essentially a giant magnifying glass inside of them. And so that's what we're after. Um, they're technically called Fresnel lenses. It's actually what we like use here in Hollywood for like these big movie productions and that kind of stuff. It focuses the light. And uh, so I went ahead and took the, the backside off here with the drill. And we're gonna go ahead and just lift this off here. Look how simple this is, a big screen TV. It's a projector, a mirror, and a big, big magnifying glass. And so this is what we're after right here. So I'm gonna to continue to tear this thing apart. Here we are. This is what we're after. Bam! Right here. Oh boy. Now, this one doesn't appear to be 100% clear, which... We want the clear ones, but it's, it's all goose chase. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. We're just trying to... Interesting. Yeah, this might be the ones that use a little like you know differently, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the sun to right there. Stick your hand in there, Sam. Is that warm? Ah! Ah! It's definitely warm. We want it to be more clear. Um, clearer the better, but you know, better than nothing. All right, so I found this on Craigslist in the free section, uh, just like Grant Thompson said that he did. And so we found this place down in Anaheim, where Disneyland is. Now the thing that we didn't know is that if it was gonna fit in here. And if you take a look, it seriously fit perfectly. Like, there was no room to spare. This one was made in 2001. So our other one was made in 2002. Um, the screen looks a little, it's bigger for sure, which is great. I already have higher hopes that this could potentially be that lens that we're looking for. The one that uh, has has better a magnifying glass type of property to it. That way, when the sun goes through it, it like turbo heats it. Because as I understand, that there's, there's actually two types of lenses. Um, and so hopefully this is the one we're looking for. And thank you, wherever we are. And this is just like, I love this drill so much. Actually, Ryobi, if you guys are watching, let's talk because uh, <laughs> I just love what you guys do. Okay, check this out. This is crazy. We took the lens out of the TV, all right? It's not even, it's not even noon yet, right? When you focus the death ray into place. It starts fire. It like literally creates fire. <laughs> oh my god. The one thing my dad taught me is that the there's always a right tool for the right job and that the job is always easy when you have the right tools. So we just figured, you know, we don't wanna just like we don't wanna boot like this. I don't wanna cut a finger off. I don't wanna like, you know, have to like super strug to make this thing doable. And so, you know, partnered with Smosh and got a bunch of power tools. Cause we're meant. That's what you guys do. We invested into this circular saw, and I feel like it's like a theme now, uh, but Ryobi is the Look at the cut, like, that looks like a child's toy. This alone, this little device, just like holding this in place with the laser cut right here, this allows me to know exactly where I'm gonna cut so I don't have to eyeball it. Ryobi for the win, yo. <laughs> I love it, this is great. So as you can see, we've now constructed our frame. <laughs> I 
All right, that's a certified death ray if I ever saw one. Um, again, we are 100% copying Grant Thompson from King of Random. What we're gonna do now is essentially the exact same thing he did. The only thing we're missing is himself. We are back for day number three now. So the solar death ray is so powerful, we can't actually assemble it in the sun because it, uh, it was burning things. It will melt things. It like literally was burning stuff, so uh, we're not gonna do that. We have fully constructed our death ray of death. That has got deathiness. We did a little test earlier, just to kind of show you guys like the power of our death ray. Uh, this is our little lime. Anyhow, so um, we have a whole list of things that we're going to uh, just toast, right? This is our roasting, our line of roast. I'm really curious to see if we can like smelt pennies Hopefully we can make glass. That's what I'm hoping that we can do with the sand. This is a solar powered mariachi band. <laughs> we'll see how fast he gets going. So uh, let's get to roasting, you know? This thing is really, really, really bright. Um, we probably should have got welding like goggles. I've kind of made my own little makeshift model right here. Uh, it's basically just two sunglasses taped together with one on top. So I'm wearing like three sunglasses when I do this. Um, you really got to, it's it's really bright. Death ray engaged. I wanna see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those are pennies. They were. That is wild. That is crazy, dude. Power of the sun. That's the power of the sun right there. Wow. Okay, so in the sunlight, he moves, right? So when he gains enough uh, solar power, he moves. So we're gonna see if he's gonna turbo dance or not. <laughs> Is he dancing any faster? Oh, oh no! Oh. Dancing days are done. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? I don't know what that was. As it turns out, our little mariachi man. Yeah, more than he could bargain for. Thought maybe we could make some some glass. Uh, so we're gonna take some sand, sprinkle it on our death area. Engage in death ray. So we actually made a little piece of glass here. <laughs> We took the sand and it melted. Melted together. It's got a little piece of glass. All right, let's throw something in there that we know is just gonna get toasted. Yeah, let's do it. You guys ready for the hottest single in town? <laughs> Here we go. Flop her up right there. Uh, I'm gonna change it, right? So here we go. You can really see that line. You can see where like, the angles converge, right? And so this is where we have like, you know, some photons, some photons, a lot of photons. Nice. We're gonna test the can of Coke. I pretty much have an idea about how this is gonna go. It's gonna heat up and I think it's gonna explode. So I'm gonna put it in place and then, well, you know, do what any normal person would do and just walk away. Oh, oh my God, that right? was so loud. Jesus. Oh my God. It happened so fast the first time. Yeah. What? Oh my God! Holy <laughs> All right, well there oh, we go. Crap. There we go. I was waiting for that. There we go. You can see 
on the back side, it actually burned the coke a little bit, like right there on that focal point. And the heat, obviously it's carbonated, so as uh, you heat up anything that's carbonated, um, the CO2 expands. And so inside here, the CO2 was expanding and it pushed the bottle totally outwards. And then eventually, where the heat was guided, it split the can open and all of the carbonation just blew the can open. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that's, I didn't expect that. <laughs> and it was loud, it was so loud. All right, our death ray was very successful. Um, it melted things, we've got, we've got a whole kind of uh, display of the things that it melted over here. Um, the mariachi band guy totally got it. These were pennies, CD had no chance, record had no chance. Really interesting watching this like kind of burn in the line, much like an actual Death Star death ray. Um, this is my sandwich. I'll be eating that later. I thought this experiment went really well. We're probably gonna bust this thing back out at some point. In the comment section below, let me know what things would you guys melt. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button because we have new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And I'll see you guys really soon.